Alright? If nobody told you as of yet today, I love you. If nobody told you as of yet today, I'm proud of you. You understand me? You're going to continue to achieve anything you put your mind to. So be cautious how you speak about yourself in certain situations that you try and see. Speak what you seek, all right? Now, let me clear that throat out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because let me say this, right? I'm going to give y'all a brief disclaimer. Y'all know the vibes. I only want you to take what resonates, and I want you to leave the rest behind. I, I don't want you trying to make certain things fit. If this ain't your situation, then please do not apply yourself to it, all right? If I serve as your confirmation, that's beautiful. I'm glad we divinely aligned. But if not, you're going to get your confirmations through various other sources, through people, through music, through sights, through sounds, through smells, so on and so forth. I'm trying to tell you, so be patient. Now, also, this about the time you probably want to hit that volume because you already know I'm loud and I'm just going to get louder, all right? So just know that. Now, listen, today we got some time-sensitive downloads, all right? Typically, whenever it fits to you, you understand? I want you to take that information in. However, God had me get up and was like, nah, listen, you got to make sure that they had this insight right now so you already know how. I'm going to get down, right? So look, chosen ones, I want you to realize something, right? You are going to see certain tests right now, and we're going to talk about it, right? You may cer see certain changes in your situation, okay? So it's like you're going to see certain partnerships start to fade out, certain friendships start to fade out, certain family fade out, so on and so forth. And when I say fade out, I mean... You are going to either be triggered into a tower moment where you're going to take time to isolate, to elevate. But during that time period, it's only simply for you to be able to analyze your surroundings. Now, we're going to talk, right? Chosen ones, you are getting tested. Don't you fuck up and fail this test when you've been training and studying for these seasons since the beginning. Don't sit here and fail these tests now and be ready to back down and give up just because now you about to step up onto that platform. You about to step onto that pedestal. So don't you try to pedal backwards. Don't you feel like you're not prepared. None of that. You understand me? So listen, there's certain people around you that they veil is getting lifted. See, as you elevate those winds coming that lifts up that veil. Now, with that being said, you're going to start to see certain partners for who they truly are. You got to pay attention to the patterns. See, intuitively, your intuition and your discernment, it works as your personal pager to God, Allah, whoever you refer to. You understand me? Because it's the same energy. But again, it's based upon where you gravitate or come from. You understand me? So you're going to start to see some shit about some people, right? Now, when you see this, this is only for you. You understand me? This ain't for you to try to go to that person, pull their cards. This isn't for you to disclose information to the dark side either. This shit that's being shown to you is for you and only you. Do not repeat it. Do not repeat it. Because right now, all those people that was crossing you, doing foul shit towards you, trying to stop you, sabotage you, so on and so forth, they in the dark about everything. See, before they may have had certain capabilities or they may have thought that certain things that they was doing to you was sticking to you. And at times it may have been true because if you was operating from your lowest self, you was operating from doubt, sadness, so on and so forth. Everything that they sent to you, you may have truly believed that it was affecting you, but that shit was an illusion. What they try to do is implant some type of confusion, but you see shit clearly now. There's certain partners that you're going to realize that they was just trying to pursue you based upon what you can do for them. See, we're going to have to talk about it. Right now, everything that was done in the dark, everything that you felt, so you felt like so-and-so was doing magic on you, that shit's being seen. You thought so-and-so was trying to sabotage your success, that shit's going to show up. If you thought so-and-so was out here moving funny about you, talking foul about you, so on and so forth, that shit is going to be presented to you. Now, it's up to you on how you're going to react to that. You understand me? See, 
If you react and match that negative with negative, you're going to match that karma and consequence too. So don't let them trick you out your position. Right now, they in the dark about everything. They used to try to get readings on you. They used to get certain information for you because they was close enough to see what you had going on. So they try to stop you. Certain people try to persuade you not to pursue certain paths that you trying to do. So therefore, be cautious, right? They in the dark about everything. Certain people, again, that you was connected to, they had certain gifts based upon the fact that they was connected to you. God provided them some type of sight. So therefore, when they was with you and you a seer, they was able to see certain shit too. But their views was only based upon the fact that you was allowing them to view them. The fact that you was allowing them to have access to that. You allowed them to enter that building in a sense, enter that energy in a sense, enter that essence in a sense. So therefore, they thought that they was really like that whole time it was you that was creating certain shit for them so therefore it's like this you know how if you have a child right and they out here trying to do a little magic trick not like them but you know what i'm talking about or they try to show you some type of trick and you have to act so like oh my goodness look what you did they act like they turn the lights off you hit the switch for them you turn the music on when they act like they doing it so on and so forth that's the same shit that she was doing for them you was making it seem like they was truly winning they believed it whole time it was based upon you that they even was seeing shit that they was achieving it so therefore you gonna have to take that power back because you got them a little too hype you got them a little too arrogant. You got them a little too confident in some chaos shit. So therefore, now you starting to call it out. Now you starting to show them that certain shit that they was creating wasn't coming from them. Because they not even tuned what they created. So what they created, mayhem. They not in tune with they created. So how do you feel like they creating shit? They was creating it through you. You pulled your energy back. That shit's done. But these individuals, they didn't know. Again, they was watching you, sending certain shit towards you, trying to sabotage you, talking shit to other people, having people come plot on you, leave certain comments under your post, try to send certain people to attack you that you didn't even know. But again, they stay close enough to you so they can hear how you was going to respond to what they were sending. But when they see you take the higher role, when you brush that shit off because you again knew that those people had no power over you, certain shit that they were sending wasn't going to stick to you. That shit wasn't even going to reach you. You understand me? Y'all in two different timelines. I want you to realize this, though. Those people from your past, those partners that was trying to pursue you. They was trying to have kids with you just based upon the fact that they know what comes with you. So if they had or you had they seed or they had you plant that seed for them, certain shit was going to grow for them. So when you planted certain seeds into, we, we going to talk. They was trying to get you to plant certain seeds, but the shit that they wanted you to plant was going to produce nothing but rotten ass fruit. They wanted you to plant certain seeds they try to water it with your energy with your tears so on and so forth because if they can compromise how you feeling that's when they can try flex some shit move around and arrange some shit it ain't work though because you caught on like wait a minute the fuck is you uh, something ain't right you paying attention to patterns and i'm proud of you there's certain individuals right right now they starting to catch on now that karma starting to catch up and they in the dark about what's going on. So again, they don't have no insight on you unless you tell them what you trying to do with certain moves that you trying to make. So stay quiet. However, I do want you to realize this just because you are in different timelines, right? Because you're chosen. God gives you again, a personal pager within you that not everybody has access to. So stop downplaying yourself. You understand me? You better... Get that shit together. You're going to have to realize this. God had you on his main line in a sense, right? He start telling you certain shit that these people was trying to do to you. Certain intentions that they was trying to move towards you. You caught on. God was connected to you again. He was in your ear. He was showing you certain shit. Now, with that being said, I want you to realize that the devil's out there heavy right now. 
You're going to have to have, you're going to have to protect your energy. You're going to have to sage your shit out. Look, have my sage stick on deck at all times. I want you to realize something. There's individuals that right now, karma's catching up to them. They try to get some type of insight for you and from you on what's about to happen to them or what's going on for you because they know as you elevate, they shit's going to fall through. Now, right now, you are protected, chosen ones, at all times. But don't you step off that pedestal to get in that street and be caught up in some chaos that don't apply to you. See, you sit on your throne. Right now, you're going to be tempted to go out and about. This is not the time to do so. You're going to be tempted to, again, go out in places or public areas that you're not typically used to. But for some reason, you're getting drawn to. Make sure that it's God leading you and not the devil. Because what they're going to try to do is get certain people at a certain location at a certain time. And he's going to try to take you out. So when you get that feeling, no matter what, I know before you used to say, nah, I'm a homebody. I'm not going out. Now God's telling you to start feeling yourself, not restrict yourself, start to be social in a sense. But you have to be social with a type of structure. You're going to have to be cautious of certain people that you're allowing around you because karma's catching up to certain people. And if you're around them, it's a chance that you're going to get hit with that straight karma bullet. So stay your ass away. You need to only be around people who have been operating out of light, people who have been healing, who have been helping, who have been, again, spreading love, light, and prosperity. You understand me? Make sure that you are around the right people because these people have the same protection as you so when you connected to them that shit surrounds you and anything and anywhere that you move but we gonna have to talk about it use your discernment because right now you're going to get certain temptations they're going to try to persuade you project energy on you to persuade you to go make certain moves that can cost you nobody can end you unless you give them access to you so don't your ass do it you understand me you gotta sit it out sit it out so your ass can stand up in your season so you can stay in your season don't sit there and let these sirens call you into some shit and then they're going to try to attack you do not do it pay attention to people's patterns be patient be silent you ain't got to talk about it you just watch this shit play out but i want you to realize something too right now you may feel like you facing certain trials and tribulations you may feel like again things are starting to get tight where you feel like you scraping so when and so forth that doesn't apply to you this is a test to you one, you're going to have to listen to what God's telling you. Do not make these moves to these locations with these people who have ill intentions for you. They're going to try to persuade you. Your past going to pop up, try to act like they changed for you. If they changed for you, then you change people too because they should have changed for themselves. You understand me? No. They should have been doing this shit before they even had access to you so when your past pops up and tries to portray everything that you was praying that they would do before just know that this is their last opportunity to try to take your ass out see when they were sending shit before god had they little magic wand that's equivalent to that gun jamming they tried to take your ass out but that shit jammed on their ass and you got away now they're going to try to spin the block on you. And now they're going to try to make sure that they do what they intended to do originally. But again, they're going to have to come in a different form. But again, when they come back and they try to show something different, they don't even realize that they walking into something different because you're not the same you that you was when you knew they ass. See, when they knew you, they ain't know you because you ain't even know you when you knew them. You understand me? Fuck them people. Don't you let them persuade you to allow the past to sabotage some shit, save some seats. When you got your divine partner coming in, they out there slaying motherfucking dragons and demons as we speak. And guess what? When they come and be presented to you, you're going to see spiritually, energetically, all of that. You're going to see why you was praying to have babies with that previous partner and that baby didn't come through. That's because that person was trying to get you to plant a seed that was going to end up 
harvesting some foul ass fruit. So therefore God made sure that that crop didn't grow. He made sure that certain shit was dried out. He made sure that you wasn't financially able to pour into those people. That you wasn't mentally, spiritually, energetically, materialistically, whatever the case may be. He made sure that you wasn't able to pour into those people. Water that fruit in one way, shape, or form. Now look at you. Certain things is happening for you, but you're going to get tested right now. But this test is going to come from God too. See, all of this from day one was training purposes. You already have won at this. Because again, you have to remember chosen ones you chose to come back and lead other people to and through the shit that you already went through. You go through shit to help people grow through shit. So you volunteered your services to come back and help them get out of certain cycles. Whether or not these are people that crossed you in past lifetimes, so you came back to give them another opportunity to try to rewind, make right, repent, so they can try to get into heaven again. But a lot of them are falling and they'll never be able to get up. I want you to realize something. These individuals have karma coming to them. But you ain't even got to worry about that. All you have to do is use your intuition, see discernment. Is very important for you right now. You're going to have to know certain offers to pass up, certain places to not go, certain trips that get offered that you like, nah, I'm cool. I'm not trying to go. That shit is happening for a reason. Trust your discernment. Because again, chosen ones, nobody can touch you unless you allow them to have access to you. Don't get caught up in no crossfire of karma that don't apply to you. That's equivalent to you hanging out six, nine. Somebody who, again, goes out and disrespects the dead. Somebody who does devious shit. Somebody who puts their morals to the side for monetary gain. You understand me? They try to do devious shit to try to obtain certain positions of power. That's like you hanging out with that person. And now all of a sudden, you know damn well that certain people is on their ass. You're going to have to pass up. You're not going to want to hang around them. Because again, you know that them demons and those people are trying to get to them. So guess what they're going to try to do? Go through you to get to them. That shit ain't going to happen. You separate yourself from those people. Right now is a test. God wants to see all these seasons of struggle that you had. All these seasons of love walking out on you. Abandonment, mistreatment, abuse, so on and so forth. First, God's going to see, are you able to pick up on people's patterns before they even show you that shit? Because again, if you're using your intuition and your discernment, God's going to tell you what somebody's intentions is for you before they even get to move towards you. But you're going to have to pay attention to that shit. A lot of the times we downplay ourselves. We don't have confidence within. So therefore we allow people to get close just for them to try to do the most and destruct. No. So you get certain signs and synchronicities way before that shit's aligned. Why? Because you way ahead of your time. You already been here before. That's why when God tells you to move, you listen to what God tells you to do. Because again, your ass been here before. You didn't did that shit before. You here to help these people that once try to hurt you, but again, they're going to hurt themselves trying to cause more abuse. See, we're going to have to talk about it. Certain shit's getting shown. You're going to get tested right now. Not only is your faith getting tested, because again, God wants to see if you know you supposed to be aligned with this purpose. If you know the path that you're supposed to be on. If you didn't see certain shit about them so-so energies that you was connected to. God wants to see, are you going to apply what I taught you? So when you see certain signs, are you going to walk away no matter how this person tries to persuade you? When you see certain opportunities present themselves to you, are you going to know, now nah, this is not for me, I'm cool on that? Or are you going to again try to rush into some shit because you're sick of being patient? Don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. This is your last test. So you're going to start to see, you may have a season right now where you see certain shit slow up. Soon as you see that slow up, it's about to take off. I'm trying to tell you, stick with it. God wants to see, are you going to stick with your business adventures that you want to do? No matter if you see other people supporting that shit too. Because you know that if you stick true with what you're trying to do, God's going to align the right people for you that's going to support you. It's about quality, not quantity. Be smart about that. 
You feeling like nobody is jumping on your bandwagon, but they are the type that not jump on the movement until they see it's moving. And by then they asses got left. Don't wait up. Don't stall up. Keep focusing on your futures. Keep moving forward. God's testing you right now. You was in certain situations previously, right? It was fucked up. Then you started to see certain things happen better. It could be small little things. You started to see it could be something as simple as your mood starts to change. You got more energy. You starting to clean, right? You starting to cook more. You starting to communicate clearer. So on and so forth. You feeling more confident. Then all of a sudden you like, damn, what I do, God? Because shit's starting to slow up a little bit. Shit's starting to stop. What happened? Nah, this your test. God wants to see, are you going to keep the same momentum as you had when you seen certain progress? Are you going to continue on? Because guess what? No matter who tries to stop you, only you can stop you. So he's going to stall you out a little bit. He wants to see. God wants to see. You going to stick with it? Okay. See, when you see certain times, you didn't even think you was going to have a business at first. You never even put that into your mind or you never thought you was going to have this position, this opportunity. You ain't think you was going to move in this neighborhood. You ain't think you was going to get this job. You ain't think you was going to find that tribe. So on and so forth, right? So back then, you never seen yourself where you at now, right? So you started to see certain things go good. Then all of a sudden, certain shit started to slow up and that fucked with your confidence. That's your test. He wants to see you going to keep faith because I told you these are the moves you're supposed to do. And I already just showed you what I can do for you. So therefore, continue to move forward and you about to see all your dreams come true. Don't fucking stop. You heard me. Do not stop. You getting tested. Certain partners, you got mad people trying to pursue you. So you may have went certain seasons where people didn't even acknowledge you. People walked over you. People were select selecting other people over you. So on and so forth. Now, guess what? You got a season where everybody trying to choose you. Everybody trying to select you. Everybody wants you again. They see the great in you, but you got to know not all opportunities need to be taken. Because you can look at past people that try to play you. They have opportunities too. They try to take that opportunity to get over on you and got their opportunity snatched. So just because an offer comes in, God wants you to trust your discernment and see, is this for me or do I need to pass on it? Don't be dumb. Do not be dumb. You not dumb. Do not play dumb. You getting shown some shit. You got everybody trying to choose you. Now you feeling all confident. Now you should have been feeling like that way before these people presented themselves. Fuck is you talking about? You not dumb. You got to know you the shit before even by, anybody even opens their mouth to compliment you. You got to feel confident no matter if somebody compliments you. You got to know that you are doing what you're supposed to do no matter who's trying to ride with you because I'm trying to tell you as soon as they see that movement moving, they're going to try to jump on it. But again, you already then left. Do not get tricked out of your position. Please pay attention to your intuition. Certain people pay attention to their patterns true because the devil comes dressed up at everything that you was praying for. But again... One thing that they can't fake is that feeling. They, The devil don't have no heart. The devil don't have no soul. The devil don't have no feelings. You understand me? So therefore, the devil can't fake that shit that you truly feeling intuitively. You understand me? That's why the devil tries to deter you from using that shit. That's why certain people who you cross paths with, they try to persuade you to stay away from that shit. They don't want you to use your gifts because, again, your gifts is going to have you see through that shit that they showing you. You understand me? The devil knows what it is. The devil tries to deter you. Again, tries to come dressed in everything that you was praying for, but they missing a few things. That's why when you write down your affirmations, when you write down your manifestations, you got to make sure that your mind is there. Because again, you can't manifest if your mind ain't right. You can't manifest if you're not confident that you're going to make the right decisions pertaining to your life. You got to make sure that you confidently, you, authentically, you, no matter what nobody else tries to tell your ass to do, you have to do what feels right to you. That's some shit that can't be faked. You understand me? 
That's some shit that you can't fake. You can feel when somebody's showing you a smile, but really behind closed doors, they feeling a certain type of way. They trying to sabotage. You can feel natural support. You can feel genuine love. This is people that celebrating you and they happy and feeling like they winning too. Because they know if they seen you get to where you work so hard to get to, they know that if they put in that work, they following behind your ass and they going to be there too. See, you going to have to pay attention. Certain people going to try to be around you, stick around you. So when they see you go up, they can try to go up too. Fuck that. No. Why you think your business starts to rock it off and then all of a sudden you start going, going, going and you feel a little stuck? You feel a little pullback. Why? Because that's that past trying to pull your ass back. They got certain snags on you. Shake that shit loose. That's not, that's not the moves that you no longer making. You understand me? You a different you. Use your intuition. The devil cannot have access to that. Them demons cannot have access to that. That's like sirens, right? Think about sirens. Because if y'all feel like sirens and mermaids ain't real, then you... Got some shit fucked up. And we're going to put something in perspective, right? You believe in God, Allah, higher power, whoever you refer to, right? Again, based upon where you was raised, what religion you close to, spirituality, so on and so forth. It's the same source, right? Different name. You believe that God, and you know for a fact, God made you, right? So you know that there's somebody greater than you that made you, right? What makes you think as good and great as God is, what makes you think that God didn't make other things too? People be out here, you give God his glory, but then you sit there and feel like other things don't exist. You downplaying God. You think that if he whooped you up, somebody who, again, he created out of, Thin air in a sense, the universe in a sense. He took some people from different galaxies too. Shit, he may have molded you from the Milky Way. You understand me? Certain shit that you got in you, other people don't got. They may have been just molded together with some so-so shit. Some sand or some shit. You understand me? Trying to stop and slow up some shit. No. You are the magic one. They have to play with magic. You are magical. So anything you put your mind to, you manifest for. You don't doubt that shit. Don't sit there and talk no foul shit upon you. Oh, I'm fu- Don't sit there and say you fucked up because you not. Don't sit there and say, oh, you struggling because you not. Don't sit there and say you cursed because you not. You bad luck because you not. That you hate it because you not. Take that shit off. That's them people trying to project that energy on you. You got people that's cheering for you that never even had an opportunity to meet you. You got people speaking your names, trying to put you in certain positions that your ass didn't even apply for. You about to get that call back. You understand me? But you're going to have to be cautious. Because, again, there's going to be other people calling out to you, too, when you need to see what's an illusion and what's truly aligned for you. Which one is a facade? And, again, they all going to come dressed like how you been asking, they all going to come try to test you. But when you see certain people resemble past people you was connected to, you know that's a no-go. Let they ass go so you can grow fuck out of here. You not dumb. Before you used to pursue partners and people say, damn, you must got a type. They all look alike. They act alike, certain and so forth. Those are the same shit that you see now. You flee because you know that that's some fuckery connected to it. You smarter now. I'm proud of you. You not no settler. You not no follower. You not no, you you set the trends. You understand me? You a trendsetter. You don't follow that shit. You participate if you choose to. But again, if you participate, it's because it came from you. So therefore, you a trendsetter. You a creator. You had to believe that. God made chosen ones. Again, God is the energy, right? So again, you think of a pyramid. The top of the pyramid is where the energy goes to, right? The sun reflects so on and so forth. Certain shit is being able to be produced. Again, you put your arms out like this. You put your legs out like this. What's your body form but a pyramid, right? And what is at the top of your head? Your antennas, right? What's at the top of your head? Your brain, right? That's that source. So when the sun comes through, 
it illuminates you. It works with you. Whatever's in your mind, you're going to manifest too. So make sure it's positive shit. Because that's what you're projecting out in the universe. God made you chosen ones. You a personal pop-up generator. So therefore, again, anywhere that you go to, you able to manifest certain things for you and other people. So make sure that you manifesting some greatness. Make sure that you healing and helping. Make sure that you spreading love, light, prosperity, abundance. But make sure you allowing the right people to be connected to that energy source. Because if the wrong one gets involved with that shit, what you going to see? If you let somebody who was on some so-so shit get connected to your energy, what they going to do but illuminate and light up the darkness? You're not doing that. See, we going to talk about it, right? Chosen ones. You got your discernment. You got your intuition, right? So unlike other people, chosen ones, you are the line leader in a sense. You understand me? God called you at the front of the line. He like, listen, you done been here before. You done did this shit before. I want you to lead these other people to where I told you about and where I showed you before, right? Everybody looking like, I'm not going to fuck in there, that dark ass shit. I'm not going over there. I hear certain voices calling out and shit. They feeling real creeped out, scared and all of that. They flee. But you stand silent like, all right, cool. Whoever's coming, follow me. So the right people, the true divine people who are on that healing process, on that healing journey, they no longer want to stay stuck in that stagnant shit, dealing with stupid motherfuckers who try to do devious things towards you, sabotage you, stop you, downplay you, fuck with your confidence, so on and so forth. Nah. You like, man, I'm not staying in this shit. Your motherfuckers is about to start. I got to get the fuck. Fuck no. Everybody else scared. They are back there starving. They back there stagnant. They back there stinking. And you like, man, guys like, man, if you don't take these mouths, you know there's food over here, right? You know that there's love over here, right? You know I got a whole spot for you that you ain't going to have to be fighting off all this shit that's trying to attack you. You know I'm going to have you so fired up that you get to see certain views, but at the same time, certain shit that's down there cannot touch you. So you like, man, listen. I'm about to head out. Whoever's coming, let's go. In a sense, your ancestors again, like the Players Club, like that old man, when he said if there's anybody in this fucker that don't want to get murdered, get the fuck out, that's exactly what you heard. God was like, man, listen, I'm about to tell you, I'm about to move some shit around. I'm about to give these bitches the blues. I'm about to really hurt some shit because these people are being hurtful towards people who are helping so therefore again he's not gonna let one person stop or sabotage you from leading certain masses with you fuck out of here what you thought so now guess what chosen ones you decided man i done been through this shit it's not as scary as it seems yeah you're gonna have certain things that you're not gonna like it might get hot you might have certain shit try to bite at you. You might have certain shit or pray. Yeah, there's prey trying to attack you. But if you stay on this path, they not going to go past you. They not going to be able to fuck with you. So you like, man, listen, I got God on the main line right now. My intuition, my gifts, my sight, so on and so forth. So now guess what? You like, I'm going for it. Certain people try to stop you. No, don't do it. Fuck out of here. Certain people like you know they gonna get you. You know certain things that you hear is gonna kill you. They try to stop you to have you stuck in that stagnant shit, starving, stinking with their asses. Oh no, baby. You like fuck that. If I stay here, I'm fucked up too. So I might as well make that move because God told me and he showed me. So therefore I know that shit's true. So you took that leap. You walked in that dark. Nobody been where you been before. You got through it. You got to it. You got through it. You grew through it as well. So now you so far up. You didn't went so high up and elevated that you looking down. You can see exactly what certain areas not to go to. Again, God tells you, yeah, that's right. Don't go left. You, Yeah, you right. You like, God, yo, I see some motherfuckers over there. I don't think I should take the tribe this way. God like, yeah, you right. So-and-so's here, I'm going to tell you when to clear out, so on and so forth. You kept walking through the dark, right? You couldn't see shit. 
At this point, when you first started off in this journey, you didn't see shit. You saw darkness all around you. So you walking through the dark. You got mad people in line behind you. Certain people that, again, are waiting for you to break certain cycles so they can break through too. So therefore, let me try. Man, listen. You walking through the dark. You hear a certain shit calling out. You go to God. God, you heard that? God, like I'm on it. Cool. You keep going. You run into certain walls. Boom. Bang your shit up. You might run head first in your lips leaking and shit. You done stumped your toe. You done hit some shit. But you walking into that wall now. You could tell people behind you. Nah, don't go this way. Bust this right. Bust this left. Now you getting fucked up because you in front. But at the same time, you like, damn, nobody else behind me is going to be harmed. You keep going. You walking in the dark, guys. Like, you hear certain things calling out to you. Come here, come here. You like, God, is that you? He like, no. You like, cool. You keep moving. You going through the dark. You can't see shit, but you can hear shit. But again, God already showed you before he even put you through this shit. Where you was going to. You seen a little small gleam of light. It could have been the size of a little pin drop. You seen that light. They like, man, how you know that that's the light to get out this motherfucking darkness? People questioning you. Man, that shit ain't show me enough to believe that there's an opening. That shit didn't trust make me feel that that shit you can get through. That there's a promised land and abundance that's waiting for you. Certain people try to persuade you that you ain't see what you seen. But you kept going. They seen a little ass glimpse. You seen that little ass glimpse of light. And you seen all that darkness behind you. You like, nope, I'm going the right way. You kept on going. You kept on going. You was hitting in the shit. Fucked up. Dusty. Could have been hungry. Could have been scared. But you had to stay solid in that shit. When you felt like nobody was there. You told people, okay, chill out right here. I'm going to go see what's ahead. And when I say you told people, I'm talking about your children, so on and so forth. You made that move. You broke that cycle. You went through that darkness so that when they come through, that shit's illuminated. They ain't going to be scared like you. They're going to be fearless. Why? Because you got through the dark, so therefore they know damn well ain't nothing going to touch their ass in this fight. You understand me? You had to do it. But you had to trust the process. That little ass, when they say the faith of a mustard seed, you seen that little ass light. And they try to persuade you that you didn't see that shit, but you kept going. And as you kept going, that light kept getting greater and greater and greater. That darkness started to fade more and more and more. You understand me? Now you so far from that darkness. Now again, people are coming behind you. Now they see exactly where they need to go to. And they know based upon the fact that they seen you do that shit before them. You was here before chosen ones. You already healed. You talking about I'm trying to heal. You not needing to heal from that fucking family that you came from. Those partners that you used to pursue. You already healed. You already done been here, did this shit before. You leading other people to where you already made it to. So for you to feel like you unhealed, these people ain't your people. For you to feel like you got to heal from these motherfuckers, you were sick to help them. You understand me? You feeling like family, that family is not always your bloodline. Family's often who, not who you come from, but who you led to, your true soul tribe. You came back in this lifetime to save other people's family cycles. That wasn't your family. Why you felt, feel like you was the black sheep of the family? Why you know that you didn't fit in? It's because you was the one here to save they fucking asses. You was here to break they cycles. You volunteered to help lead they family in some new shit, but they chose to try to try you. So now they stuck behind you, and now you move on to some better shit. You understand me? Now you guess what? Oh, so-and-so ain't want to take the help. I'm going to go ahead and donate this help to somebody else. You're not going to stop. You think that somebody who, you got to think, an organization, right? Feed the homeless, so on and so forth. You think because one person turned down that hot meal that I'm going to say nobody else can get it? Fuck is you talking about? One person don't take that help. There's somebody else right now praying to cross paths with a person like you. You are their dreams come true. They've been waiting for you. And when they see you, they know what they're going to know how to curb you. You understand me? 
You crying about some family that you shouldn't be fucking with because you only fuck with them because you were supposed to help them and they try to hurt you, which was their karma because they asses had an opportunity to break through, but they try to break you down. So now guess what? They got to stay there. And they better pray and hope that another ride comes past. But I doubt it. Because guess what? When they came back, this was some cycles that they were supposed to learn from previously. Some shit they did in a past lifetime. So God gave them another lifeline, which was you. And what they do, fuck it up. That's on them, not you. Keep moving. Keep moving. You don't need people around you that you got to break everything down. You think God, when you praying for shit, that God's going to be like, that's, if you asking God for something, that's like you asking God for something, right? You, God, can you do this? And as God's doing it. Matter of fact, we're going to say not even, we're not even going to bring up God real quick, right? Say you pay somebody for a job or somebody pay you for a job, whatever business you do, right? If you are a nail, a nail artist, a hairstylist, a CNA, a med tech, so on and so forth, music, so on and so forth, right? That's like somebody coming to you because they know that this is the work that you do, right? So they come to you and they ask you for it. So you start to assist them, right? Now, all of a sudden, they looking over your shoulder like, well, ain't you supposed to do this? Ain't you supposed to do that? Well, if your ass knew how to do it, why'd you come to me then? The same applause pretending to you. The same why you asking God for certain prayers, abundance, and everything to come through. You can't sit there and choose how that shit's get done. When you ask for something, you gonna get it, but you don't get to come up with how your ass got it. That's like you asking somebody for some bread, and they talking about, yeah, I got you. And you mad because they said, okay, you gonna have to wait until after two, and I'll bring it to you. Your ass ain't moving. What you complaining about? You ain't even had bread. What you complaining about? You can't dictate how this person comes through for you when the fact that they still coming through. Fuck out of here. Don't be stupid. Don't be dumb. These people charge you. You was the answers that they prayer that they've been praying for from their early childhood. They was getting disrespected, used, abused, molested, so on and so forth. People speaking down upon them, abusing them, so on and so forth. They pray from day one was making promises to God. God, if you get me through this, I promise this. God, if you give me this, I'm going to do that. And then God presented you. And what did they do? Try to take advantage of you. Fuck out of here. They lost it. You understand me? So now those people that try to sabotage you, they seen you made it through the darkness. They just knew that you was going to be fucked up. They was waiting at the entryway like, yeah, so-and-so is going to turn around. So-and-so is going to come back around. They're not going to make it through. Then they're going to try to come to me and ask me to provide for them. They, they so arrogant. They so used to backpe you backpedaling or doubting you, but the fact that something else was in you and God was like, man, fuck this. So you with me and you was like, let's go, let's move. You're not the same you that you used to be. You understand me? Your ass jumped out there. You, you really was scared, but not scary. You understand me? You were scared, but you continue to move forward. Now they see those people that was waiting for you to turn back around and come to them thinking that they was going to seem like they saved the day. Time kept passing. They like, yo, so-and-so ain't come back yet. So that I just seen five, five, five on the clock. That's somebody's confirmation. You understand me? Five, five, five. I'm seeing it stuck there. Y'all see this, man? Listen, that's your confirmation. Look that up. That's somebody's confirmation. I'm going to tell you this. Those people seen you walk through that darkness and they thought that so-and-so scary. They not going to keep going. They didn't did try to do this shit before. They been said they was going to leave. They been said they was going to do this. They been said they was going to do that. They was waiting at the entryway, just posing and shit, waiting. Just out here confidence and shit that you was going to come back to some bullshit. And they was going to seem like they saved the day. When time start passing and you ain't turned back, they're like, oh, what the fuck? They pacing around looking and shit. Calling out, hey, yo. That's them trying to manifest you back into some bullshit. They doing certain magic and doing certain smoke signals and shit. Trying to get you to come back, but you kept on going. You ain't even looked back, so you ain't even noticed that shit. You kept going. They waiting. 
They just knew. And when you ain't come back, they like, yo, they done for. If they ain't come back, them motherfuckers must be dead. That shit that I must have sent must have really worked. Them motherfuckers didn't return. They must be going through some shit that got them tied up in some shit. The whole time, your ass over there eating good. Whole time, you then made it through that darkness. Now you see this bigger light. Now you about to walk through and see a whole different life. I'm trying to tell you, don't you give up. They want you to try to spin the block. They want you to try to stop. They want you to try, man, listen. Fuck them people. Now they hungry. Now they hurting. Now the shit that they had has stopped working. Now they stuck in that stagnant, stinking shit. Now certain people that, again, trusted you. Because based upon the fact that God spoke to you, they trusted you. They started to slowly but surely head out too. But that person was stuck standing there thinking you was going to return to them. Fuck out of here. No, you didn't. No, the fuck you didn't. You kept going. Now you eating good. And your ancestors, they heard some rustling at the doorway. So they like, yeah, so-and-so finally came back. Now guess what? It's your ancestors at the door and they shenane shit. Talking about looky, looky. Looky, looky. Shit ain't. Who you thought I, who you thought it was? <laughs> Boy. Oh, you thought I was. Oh, you thought I was feeling you? That's how it go. You feel me? Oh, you thought... <laughs> Boy, listen. You thought I was so-and-so? Man, I don't know if you heard the news, but so-and-so is on their shit. So-and-so got a new partner that they connected with. So-and-so is seeing successes. They ain't looking back at none of this negative shit. So-and-so is doing some shit now. Now they like, what the fuck? What you mean? Not so... Who? I know you're not talking about, I know you ain't talking about the one who used to always return. I know you ain't talking about the one that I was eating off their energy. I know you talking about, not talking about now I'm about to starve because they chose themselves. What the fuck you mean? Now they sitting there dumb as shit. Now they contemplating, damn, I done talked all this shit and they really made it work. They really got to where they said that they was going to. So now they out here contemplating, right? contemplating damn should i make that move but the ego got the best of them they were sitting still for a minute like man should i go tell shorty she was right should i go tell him he was right should i go tell her she was right nah nah i'm a chill i'm a chill i'm a chill they contemplating meanwhile they stomachs touching they back or how florida people say they bike you understand me <laughs> i'm sorry but listen now they shit is hungry. Now they hurting. You understand me? Now they shit's talking to them. Before, they conscious was talking to them. Now that stuff, nah, we're going to say, first they stomach was talking to them. They try ignore it. They out here eating little shit that's not sticking on their ass. They just out here, again, them eating little small Bugs here, critters there, so on and so forth. That's equivalent to them pursuing certain partners that truly don't want nothing to do with them. They out here dealing with people that may look a certain type of way, but they ain't holding no weight. So that shit ain't sticking. They still hungry. So now they stuck in that stagnant place. First, they stomach start talking to them like, hey, yo, motherfuckers is hungry now. The fuck? I ain't gonna keep eating these little fucking ass, small ass, funky ass bugs. Like, where the real shit at? So and so say they over there eating motherfucking lobster tails, fruits. They over there eating shit off a of gold place. What the fuck? You had me over here eating these little ass, small things, right? Oh, all right. So they still sitting there like, yo, shut the fuck up. They still, ego still eating at them. Now they conscious start talking like, hey, yo, you know they say they about to close that. That door up. You know this your last opportunity to try to go through. They like, man, they ain't about to close shit. I seen somebody else just walk through. They was real confident, right? Okay. Now what happened? Your ancestors again popped through on that looky looky shit. Talking big shit. Because guess what? Your ancestors just came through to tell them motherfuckers that they made the wrong choice about you. Your ancestors on some big cocky shit. Like, hey, yo, you know you fuck... Turn into a motherfucker off a of menace to society talking about, you know you done fucked up, right? You know you done fucked up. Your ancestors are talking big boy shit. All they keep hearing is, <laughs> all they keep hearing is, motherfucker, catch them other hitters because I'm down for my, y'all know that song? Your ancestors wildin'. 
they over there talking big boy shit loud on the mic for them. They out here talk. you must not know about her, you must not know about him. They talking big shit on you. They talking about playing wipe me down, all that shit. You understand me? They out here playing all these songs, shitting on them. So F-R-E-E, -E, fuck the free, yeah, 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 yeah. Ancestors getting it, playing songs deliberately, playing Cardi B on repeat, talking about be careful, be careful with me. You understand me? Your people out there showing out. How Boozy daughter say, how, nah, 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 how so-and-so's daughter say, I told y'all. I told y'all, fuck out your people talking big boy shit, and they still sitting there mad, salty, hurting, hungry. But that ego, they still got that ego though, right? All right. Now that ego starting to walk away too. Like, motherfucker, is you dumb? I'm over here shaking the shit, been seeing stars, stars since Saturday. I'm hungry as a motherfucker. I'm starving. And somebody's talking about that you could save us and get some food. But your ego is fucking with you. So you don't want to walk through that door, bitch. I'm leaving you too. Now that ego's gone. That's the death of the ego. So now that ego gone. Now they just stuck in their head. Now they looking around. They starting to hear some shit. Even that music that your ancestors was playing is starting to fade too. Because they came through to spread that message and they went right back to you. So guess what? Now they don't even got their ego. That music from your ancestors ain't even trying to tell you no, no longer what your ass is doing. They don't got that insight. So now they had a death of ego. And they looking around. They hear certain shit. And now they see that that's that evil catching up to them. Those demons that was conjuring up. Talking about, listen, trying to get fed like them. Talking about, yo, you guaranteed us a meal. Shorty went and left. Now your ass, what's the deal? Now they hurting. Demons about to get them the blues, beat they asses up based upon the fact that they tried you. See, they tried to sacrifice you. So that's when the demons thought that they was going to feed off your energy. They thought that they was going to continue to build and eat off of you. So when you pull that plug, them demons get their asses up. I'm talking about that mean talk about fight back, fight back. That's how their asses doing. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, motherfucker. Elbows too. They get in the blues. Fuck is you talking about? Talking about what had happened was. Now they trying to point fingers at you. They like, nah, motherfucker, she ain't promised. And he ain't promised to feed me. You did, though. So now them demons is feeding on their asses. And when anybody that comes back, they no longer going to be there. It's just a shell on where they used to be. Certain bones left around. Bones showing certain misery. Them motherfuckers is stuck like Chuck. They try to go through like, man, fuck this shit. Them demons try to beat my ass. Now they try to run through that door. But when they get to that door, that shit's been padlocked. That shit is closed off. Now they can't even see. It look like, oh, they wasted all that time. Now them trees done regrown. Now they can't even see the path that your ass was on. So now guess what? They don't see shit. They see that they stuck. See, they had an opportunity. God kept sending certain people to, to them, certain feelings towards them. Yo, you need to change up. So-and-so's heading out. You better change up. So-and-so's feeling themselves. You better change up. So-and-so over there eating good. You better change up. They didn't, though. The ego left, led them and then left them. And now guess what they look? Dumb as shit. They run into the door. Thinking this is a Vont video. Thinking they have four minutes left, motherfucker. That four minutes been passed. We on two different timelines. You understand me? You thought you still had time, whole time. Now that shit regrew. They don't know how to get to you. They didn't just hear about you. Now you something like a urban legend. Now they out here trying to tell people where they could have been. What they could have been doing. Who they could have been with. Fuck out of here. Because them woulda, coulda, shoulda don't mean shit if you ain't really do that shit. So, mm, no. They gonna try to be using your name. You know, I used to know so-and-so. Yeah, I could have been there. But where are you now? Where are you now, funky? Where are you now with your soul on stink, stinky? Where are you at? Stuck in that funk. Fuck out of here. It's a no for me. It's a no for me. You understand me? Yeah, it says it ain't playing about you. So everybody, again, who tried you, you tried to 
help them and bring them with you. They try to sabotage you and stop you from leading other people to where your ass is going to. So now they stuck. Them motherfuckers couldn't even be box if they wanted to. Mouth on dry. They, how they say, I look like Gucci man in 2000. What? I'm trying to tell you, cotton mouth and all that mouth is dry, baby. But when I was pouring water into you, you tried to knock my cup over, huh? You should have been rationing that water I was providing, which was that energy. Because now that shit's on dry and you see me drinking this water. Boy, listen. Fuck is you doing, dry throat? Cotton mouth, yuck mouth, got mayonnaise mouth, pill, pill. No. We don't chase, we choose. And everybody who presents themselves to you, they gonna show you why they should get shows. They ain't gonna do no dumb shit. They move, how, how Luda say, when I move, you move shit. Just like that. That's how it was. I'm trying to tell you, fuck them people. The fuck? You're not even feeding you. How the fuck you gonna feed me? You hungry, motherfucker. What you talking about? You about to, what? No. It's a no. You understand me, boy? Listen. Now you over there having fun. All of a sudden, you here to take it over for the 9-9 nine, nine and 2000. You and your ancestors. Girl, you working with some... What? Like, listen, y'all Lydia shit over there. You Lydia shit, I'm trying to tell you. Soon as that juvie drop, them knees start knocking and your ass is getting lit. I'm trying to tell you. The fuck? Listen, y'all already know. I'm trying to tell you what. You know, don't y'all try to act all better like y'all know juvenile. Because y'all know when y'all hear that too. Them knees start knocking. Talk about me knees like Megan. Shit, some of your elders was getting it too. Had these motherfuckers... <laughs> hold up. Had these people praising the church. Why you think that they can still be praising, doing that little jump and shit? Them knees is... Why? Because they was at some Uncle Luke concerts, too, back in the day. Fuck is you talking about? No. You better cut it out. Cheryl, I seen... I know, Cheryl. The way you just hit that when that beat dropped, I know damn well you was dropping a little. Don't try to play with me, Miss Murray. The fuck you talk? Now, it's different because I'm dancing to Juvie, but you out here dancing to Kirk. Same shit. I seen a little shake back, don't try, eh? You understand me? They think that they, you doing the A-Town stomp, but they doing the same shit. We doing it to do two different music, but we doing the same shit, Cheryl. They doing the praise that you doing the, if you don't give a damn, gone. you you heard me. Why? What you thought? Same shit, Shirley. You, you are perfectly you. You have to realize that God, your, your, your connection with God outweighs anybody, what anybody tries you to do. You you not a, a, let me say this. Pastors place themselves in position, right? Not all of them are prophets. Some of them are. But some of them are right. Some of them are wrong. We're going to talk, right? You don't have to play no certain way. You can like to teach and twerk. You can like God and ganja. That's what you like to do. The fact that you let God lead you and you doing what he tells you to do, you could be a lot closer to God than these motherfuckers who's in church. Don't let people tell you again how you should move. Let God speak to you as long as you know you ain't giving your body up to everybody. As long as you know that you ain't dibbling and dabbling no dark shit. As long as you know that you're not out here trying to take certain substances to cover up some shit that you're dealing with, you're going to have to get that shit together. Because you can drink. But they can't. They can be like, why you can drink, but I can't. Well, you got some motherfucking demons that's drinking that shit. So when you drink that shit, it ignites some shit that you're not healed from. Whereas you can take a sip of some shit and you tipsy, you cool. Two different timelines. You understand me? Not everybody on the same page. Everybody, you had to heal you. It's about your connection with God. COVID. All these lockdowns that showed you. You think that those people who used to go in the church, we going to talk about it. If they say you got to step foot in a certain church, right? And I'm not downplaying that those are do, but if you, it's about connection to God. So if you saying that because I don't step foot in this church and listen to these motherfuckers who 
ain't even doing what they trying to tell me to do. They people, they children is fucked up. It shows that they are fucked up based upon what they showed them, right? So you trying to tell me during COVID, everybody who didn't go to church, all of a sudden their connection with God cleared out? No, because your temple is his temple. So wherever you at, you can praise that. You understand me? So no, I'm not trying to hear that. Don't let these people persuade you. You got to be a certain type of boy. Be authentically you. Chosen ones you got chose because you not scared to be you. No matter what people try to tell you to do, you not easily influenced. If God ain't telling you, you ain't hearing that shit. You understand me? Certain things getting shown to you. Now, listen, this last part is the prophecy. And I promise you, you're going to have to be cautious with this. All right. You're going to have to win. Be authentically you and align with your soul child, right? You're going to have to raise vibrations because you have to realize Earth, right, is in the galaxies. There's other planets and such all around you, right? And I always say this. If you cleared up, if the clouds got cleared up, if you found out right now that the government made certain clouds and it's blue around you, right? So that if something goes wrong and it clears up and you really see that you operating through space, right? How many people would that affect? They forget how to talk, forget how to walk. They be so scared because they see the shit that's surrounding them. You understand me? I want you to realize something right now. Certain things is going to be getting shown to you, all right? You have to raise your vibrations because you operating from a higher level, it allows the planet to move like it's supposed to move. But when you operating out of hate, anger, fire foul shit you start moving towards those type of planets too so motherfuckers is gonna fuck around and move towards the sun and burn up we not doing that change that frequency all right everybody has a place everybody has to raise their vibrations also be cautious because there's going to be again use your discernment more people are going to try to sacrifice masses of people so certain occasions, certain big events, you don't need to go to right now. If God tells you or you feel that little stomach fucked up and you like, oh, that's probably nerves. No, that's God speaking to you. He going to make you feel that shit. So you feel that shit. So you don't have to deal with that shit. All right. So use your discernment. Also, everybody who got laying off of fake or false pretenses. So all these higher ups that was out here purchasing all this land. Something's going to happen where it's almost like a fire in a sense. And when I say this, it's just like either something is a meteor, or something's going to hit certain areas and land that's going to destroy what they thought that they was trying to do. So it's going to fuck up their plan and it's going to get repaid to the people it's supposed to be to and be have access to. So those people who are trying to again these people who have all this farmland they feel like they could try to manipulate people try to do devious shit to large masses based upon certain food so on and so forth that's just getting stripped to them and it's getting given to you you understand me and with that fruit and those crops that you produce you're going to feed the world you're going to set a whole nother dynamic. That money shit is not going to matter. It's based upon who you have connected to you. So build your true soul tribe now. And you're going to know who it is because they telepathically, energetically, intuitively are going to be able to communicate with you. Y'all going to repeat certain shit that you didn't even say in front of this person before. Familiar. God's going to have a confirmation come through real strong to you. So whatever it is, if you want a confirmation that this is your person that you should be pursuing, pray on that shit. And as soon as God shows you that shit, you go with that shit. Don't question it. You understand me? These are the people that you're going to be building with. These are the people that have certain. Again, I tell you this all the time. You already got the pieces of the puzzle that you're looking for. The answers and the pieces always been within you. But the picture that you were seeing, you like, yo, I know there's got to be more to this shit. Something's fucking missing. That's your, tro your soul child. Now you're going to be aligned with them. And those pieces that was missing is going to be provided. And you're going to see that bigger picture. You understand me? So make sure that you pay attention to it. All right? I promise you, use your discernment. Not everybody who's trying to offer you an offer is something that you need to accept, okay?
I love you so much. Listen, I got to get up off of here, all right? Because I do got some reading to do. Please remember, I will never reach out to you for a reading, all right? There's impersonating pages. If you ever are curious or want to know if it's truly me that you contacting and connecting with, the link is in my bio. All right. You can only book the reading through the link in my bio. I'm not going to reach out to you. You book your reading when you're ready to receive that confirmation through me because I'm going to talk to you just like I talk to you now. Ain't no sugarcoat or no shit. I'm going to tell you your past, your present. Certain things that's happening in the future, I'm going to tell you. Certain people around you that's trying to hurt you, harm you, really love you. And certain shit that you're doing to block you too. Ain't no sugarcoating shit. So again, when you're ready to receive that message, click the link in the bio. But if you don't get your confirmation through me, you won't get it through somebody else. Another place, another thing, another scent, another smell, so on and so forth, right? Also, I'm going to upload this live to my YouTube. Links in the bio. All right, turn the notifications on. I'm going to upload this a little later. But again, if you ever want to know if you communicating with me, click the link in the bio. I only got one Instagram, one TikTok, and one YouTube. And again, I will never message you asking you, do you want me to provide a reading to you? So do not get caught up and let these people play in your energy. You see a fake page, make sure that you black and report their asses, all right? I love you so, so much. Gang, you ain't following my Instagram, you gonna have to get it on it, baby. All right? Because we gotta get them numbers up so you know that it's me and not these impersonating pages, all right? I love you so, so much. Matter of fact, let's do a, um, let's do some affirmations real quick before we get off here, all right? Uh, damn. Okay, so look. I got the little singable, all right? We gonna say some affirmations real quick because we gonna carry this good energy over to the Weekend, all right? Now let's go. I am divinely protected. I am divinely respected. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am abundant. No one can enter my energy. I am in control of my energy. I'm protected. I'm respected. I am love. I am light. I call all my energy back. I return all energy back to sender. You good, babies. All right, I love y'all so much, all right? Thank you so much for all your likes, all your subscribes. You understand me? All your shares, all y'all's donations. I appreciate you. You understand me? You donating in any way, shape, or form, whether or not that's through likes, subscribe, shares, so on and so forth, follower, following. I appreciate you. You understand me? You allowing me to be aligned with somebody else that I can help and assist too. So I'm so grateful for you, all right? I love you so much. I promise you. Continue to be great. You're going to do anything you put your mind through, baby. Keep that energy up, all right? Love you so much, babies. Be great.